Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talalipop and today we are covering all of the changes to the Trek slash lineup from 2021 to 2022. I'm excited for this one because there are a lot of updated bikes and I've actually never covered the slash lineup on my channel before. But before I get started, this video is meant to just give you the changes to these bikes since 2021. So if you do have a 2021 slash or are deciding between the two model years, you can easily figure out what the differences are. With that said, I don't want to make this video too long by talking about all of the other components since there are five bikes I have to get through, but I will still make separate tables for each bike highlighting all of those changes in one place. And for a background on these, the Trex slash bikes are Trex Enduro race bikes, designed primarily to go very fast downhill on Enduro race tracks, or for fun at bike parks and stuff like that. The frames on these bikes have not been changed since 2021, but I will show the frame geometry on the screen right now so you can get a detailed look. Although they are designed for mainly downhill riding, they can still pedal up hills well enough thanks to that steeper C-tube angle of 75.6 degrees paired with the head tube angle of 64.1 degrees. And you can buy the carbon fiber frame separately for $3,700 or £3,950, and it does come in this nice carbon blue smoke color with silver accents. But let's move on to the actual changes. Now there is one change that is seen on every single Trek Slash for 2022, and that is the tires, so I will cover that first. In 2021, every slash used a Bontrager SE5 tire in the front that was 29 inches in diameter and 2.6 inches wide. In the rear, they used the SE4 tire that was narrower at 2.4 inches for a faster rolling effect while still retaining the aggressive front tire. For 2022, Trek decided to switch it up to the new Bontrager SE6 tire in the front and the SE5 in the rear, both of which are 29ers, but they are more knobby tires in general that will weigh a little bit more, but this year they are both 2.5 inches wide. These new tires are also both 120 TPI instead of 60 TPI, which gives them more flexibility over rocks, so in general I would consider them an upgrade. Okay, let's get into these new bikes, all of which are carbon fiber models, starting with the updates to the Slash 9.8 GX. So first of all, we got to talk about the price, which was originally $6,000, but eventually rose up to $6,500 for the 2021 bike, while the 2022 bike remains that same price at $6,500. The next change is to the colors. And the 2021 bike came in three different colors, which were factory orange and carbon smoke, as well as a lithium gray with raw red carbon accents, and a carbon blue smoke. The new bike keeps the lithium gray color from last year, but it replaces the other two with matte battleship blue. And besides the tires I already mentioned, the only change this bike has is a pretty minimal one, as the new bike just uses a 170mm long crankset in all sizes now to prevent pedal strikes, whereas last year it was 5mm longer in larger sizes. In the images, the new crankset may appear different, but it is indeed the same model. And Trek has not given us the official weight of the new bike yet, but considering the old bike weighed 31.8 pounds in a size medium with tubeless sealant installed, the new one should weigh around 32.3 pounds because of the heavier tires. Alright, next we can quickly talk about the 2022 Slash 9.8 GX Axis model, which has wireless shifting. Now, all the changes to the GX bike apply to the GX Axis model as well, except for the price and the color. The price has not changed since 2021, as it is still $7,200, and all the color changes are the same, except the 2022 GX Axis bike does have one more color option than the normal GX, which is a radioactive coral to yellow fade. Besides that, we don't know the weight of the new bike once again, but the old bike weighed 32.06 pounds, so the new one should be around 32.5 pounds. And next we have another Slash 9.8, but this time it's the 9.8 XT version. So the price change for the 2022 is the same as the 9.8 GX bike, and the color options are the exact same as the GX Axis bike, so we do have the radioactive coral to yellow fade on the 2022 model, as well as the battleship blue color, and of course the lithium gray from 2021. 
Besides those and the tire changes, the crankset on this bike has also been shortened to 170 millimeters in all sizes, so a similar story to the Slash 9.8 GX again. However, there is one difference that is new for the 9.8 XT only, and that is the brake choice. So the 2021 bike came with the Shimano SLX M7120 4 piston hydraulic brakes, but the 2022 model now uses the upgraded Shimano XT M8120 brakes, which are also 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes, but they do have increased braking power and better noise reduction, and are a bit lighter in weight. The brake rotors are also an important change, as they were one-piece Shimano RT66 rotors in 2021, which worked fine, but the 2022 bike goes to the Shimano RT76 rotors that have a two-piece design to decrease weight and prevent warping. But even with these weight reductions, the new bike does weigh a bit more, as the 2021 bike came in at 31.44 pounds, while the new one is now 32.1 pounds which is once again mainly due to the larger tires. And now we can move on to the Trek Slash 9.9 XTR. In 2021, this bike was priced at $9,500 to $10,000, and for 2022, it is staying at $10,000. So this bike in 2021 came in the same three colors as most of the other Slash models this year, so we do have the Carbon Blue Smoke, Factory Orange, and Lithium Gray colors, but for 2022 for this bike we only have the Radioactive Coral to Yellow Fade color. But for the component changes we can start with the rear shock. So this one is interesting because the 2021 bike came with the RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate Rear Shock, which has a debonair spring and a three position damper. And the new bike seems to come with the exact same shock in the images, but in the official spec sheet, Trek says that the 2022 Slash XTR comes with a Fox DHX factory coil spring rear shock instead, which has a two position adjustment. I'm not completely sure if this will actually be the case considering the pictures do not show it, but it would be kind of cool to see that coil shock on the new bike. And next we have a really cool change which is to the handlebar and stem. So the 2021 bike used a Bontrager Line Pro carbon handlebar attached to a Bontrager stem, but the new bike uses the brand new Bontrager RSL MTB handlebar and stem combination, which is a one-piece design that reduces weight and increases stiffness. These handlebars are all still 820 millimeters wide as well. And then of course for the weight of each bike, the 2021 bike weighed 30.4 pounds, but the new one increases a bit to 30.73 pounds. And finally we have the king of the Trek Slash lineup, which was the Slash 9.9 XO1 in 2021, but that bike has now been replaced with the Slash 9.9 XX1 Axis bike with wireless shifting. Now this new bike has some really cool features, but let's talk about the price tag first. So the 2021 XO1 bike was priced at $8,000 to $8,500, but the 2022 XX1 Axis bike is now $11,500. And once again, the old Slash came in those three colors mentioned before, but the new one comes in only two, which are matte battleship blue and a radioactive coral to yellow fade. So the first change we have is actually to the wheel set, which has pretty much all the same specifications, but in 2021 it was the Bontrager Line Elite 30, while the 2022 bike goes to the Bontrager Line Pro 30. Both wheels are tubeless ready and made out of carbon fiber, but the difference is that the new wheel set is 130 grams lighter in total, so around 0.3 pounds lighter. The next change is to the seat post, which is definitely a nice upgrade from the Bontrager Line Elite Dropper to the RockShox Reverb Axis Dropper that is fully wireless. Now the old dropper had different travel amounts and lengths depending on the frame size of the bike, but the range has been narrowed down a bit for the new bike. Then we have another handlebar upgrade, which is actually the exact same upgrade we saw for the 9.9 XTR bike. So the Bontrager Line Pro carbon bars have been swapped out for the Bontrager RSL MTB handlebar and stem combination. And of course we have the main change to this bike, which is the drivetrain. So in 2021, the bike used a SRAM X01 Eagle 1x12 drivetrain, but it did use a GX Eagle chain. The new bike upgrades to the SRAM XX1 Eagle Axis 1x12 drivetrain which has wireless shifting. 
This bike uses an XX1 Eagle rainbow chain, as well as the XX1 rainbow cassette, and although these components are a bit lighter than the X01 components, the batteries for the Axis system end up making the overall drivetrain way more. These are both amazing drivetrains that will have pretty much the same performance on the trail, however. And lastly, we will discuss the weights of both bikes, and the X01 in 2021 weighed 31.14 pounds, while the 2022 XX1 bike still weighs less at 30.89 pounds, so that's nice to see. But those are all of the updates to the Trek slash bikes from 2021 to 2022. I'll show all those completed tables now for reference, but overall we have some smaller changes on most of these bikes just to keep them updated and ready for 2022. Hopefully we'll see some changes to the aluminum models as well, and of course I'll make a video if that happens, but it is cool to have that really high-end XX1 access bike, even if no one can afford it. <laughs> Well, regardless, I hope all of you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped give you all the information you needed, and I'll of course add updates in the comments section below if anything changes, but for now, thank you all for watching, and remember to keep biking.